Hi and welcome to today's Advent Devotional. Today we're going to look at the name of Christ, the Messiah. The Messiah is an Old Testament word which means the Anointed One. In God's Word, the Bible, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 4, we read these words. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ, came to liberate people from their sins as the Anointed One. In contrast to John the Baptist, Jesus' cousin, scriptures tell us that John was rugged in his appearance. He was fierce in his preaching and that he was the forerunner to the Christ, calling people to repentance and turning people away from their sins to a saving knowledge of the one who was to come. But when Jesus came, he wasn't as people expected. He wasn't born into grandeurs or palaces. He wasn't born with royal fanfare. He was born as that humble baby in a manger. The nation of Israel were looking for a supreme leader, a poster boy who would liberate them from the oppression of Rome. But unfortunately, they would not get that in Christ. But he would be so much more. He would be God's anointed one who would change their lives from lives of turmoil that they have faced, lives of wilderness that they had wandered. He came as the one who heralded in God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. But the difficulty that Jesus faced was that the people of Israel would not receive him. Scriptures tell us in John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 11 And twelve, he came to his own, but his own did not receive him. For yet those who received him, they would be called children of God. What wonderful assurance it is that the Anointed One, God's Anointed One, in Christ Jesus, allows us that relationship with the Father. I wonder, and my challenge to you today is, how does Jesus look in your life? How do you try to fit Jesus into your everyday life? Do you allow him to be the anointed one, the King of kings and the Lord of lords? Or do you try to package him into this nice little gift that you can put in your pocket. He is God's anointed one. He is God's chosen one for the redemption of all humanity. He is Messiah, the one who would save. And what a beautiful name is the Christ. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you sent the Lord Jesus Christ as your anointed one, chosen by you from the very foundation of the world, that he would become our rescue plan. Father, we thank you that Jesus was the anointed one in which you chose to be blameless and without sin, You would liberate us all from our bondage of sin 
by his death and resurrection upon Calvary's tree. And so, Father, we rejoice and give thanks for the Christ, the child in a manger. For we ask it in and through his name. Amen.